email the 242 family. Welcome back and thank you for tuning in today. So today I will be preparing Bahamian peas and rice. Yes, peas and rice. If you want to see how this is prepared, continue watching. Okay, on my cutting board I have a half of a medium onion, a stick of celery, a half of a bell pepper on a medium ripe frozen tomato cut up, chopped up. I have a tin of pi pigeon pea, dried pigeon peas, Hunts tomato paste, red pepper flakes, salt, and some Crisco corn oil. And of course, a two pound package bag of Mahatma Parboil rice. Now I'm frying down the onion and the celery first in about two tablespoons of the, of the Crisco oil because they take long, they take the longest to, to cook. Now I'm smashing one clove of garlic. giving my um, onion and celery in the oil giving it a quick stir and then I'm going to add to that the ripe tomato chopped ripe tomato okay and I'm gonna stir that together mixing it in that one wasn't cut that piece isn't cut all the way so just trying to separate it with my with the spoon That's about a half a table, half a teaspoon of salt. Oh, not a table. Um, teaspoon of pepper flakes. Now here I am pulling the leaves off, off of the um thyme, just the leaves, and then I'm gonna put the the stems in as well. Now we don't eat the stems. The stems are just to help with the flavoring. To that, I'm going to add my green bell pepper, that's a half, and the clove of garlic. I didn't add those in with the onion and the celery because they tend to cook the fastest and I don't want them burning. So that's why I fried the onion and the celery first. Now I'm rinsing off the top of the, pig, of the pea, pigeon pea, and the Hunt's tomato paste. Because in the food store, there's dust and everybody touching and all that. When you open it, whatever's on the outside, on the top of it, is going to go in to it. So rinse it off first. That's the tomato paste I'm opening with my manual opener. I need to get a, an electric one. I had one, but it went bad. So doing it manually, I'm getting it though. I'm an island girl, so I know how to do it. So to be careful with those cans. Now I'm gonna add some browning to that, just to give it a nice color when it's finished. Nice brown, brownish color. I'm gonna add it to um the pigeon pea to it. That's a tablespoon. I'm gonna get two of those, add two of those of tomato paste to my pot. So piece and rice, two tablespoons of Hunt's tomato paste. Hunt's is my favorite, by the way. It's nice and thick. I'm gonna mix that through, mix that together mix 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 boy what a pot just have to hold the pot with the towel because it's hot this is my favorite pot this is my favorite pot 
I love it. It never disappoints me. Now I'm gonna add like a half a, a half of a teaspoon of garlic salt. Mix that through. Oh, oh, this smells good. Okay, now it's ready for the rice. I'm going to add this two pound, this entire pack of this two pound Mahatma rice. And now I'm just mixing everything together, coating my rice before I add the, the water. Mix, 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 mix. Now this red container holds two cups each. So that's two cups and the other container would be four cups. So that's four cups of water to a two pound package, package of parboil Mahatma rice. Now it might look white now, but when it boils down, it's gonna turn brown. I'm giving a quick taste. Need some more salt. I'm just adding a little bit more salt. And stirring that through. I put a cover on the top of the pot. That's after five, five to eight minutes has passed. I'm giving it a check. I'm giving it a stir for its check. Okay, now I'm giving it a quick mix after most of the water has dissolved. All right, get it. I don't want it to stick, so I'm just gonna give it a stir. Now I'm gonna cover it up again, cover it up again. Then I'm gonna reduce the heat. It was on medium, now I turn it down on medium low. All right, looking good. So now we have Bahamian peas and rice. Make some today.